Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome to Star Citizen. From pupil to planet, this is the procedural generation video, the first teaser that we've even seen or even heard of in quite some time for procedural generation, at least to my knowledge. And it's pretty damn impressive. This is a prototype that they're showing off. Procedurally generated rocky planet with a landing zone that's been, um, now of course the landing zone here has been custom made. I think they say that in the trailer itself, but uh, yeah, procedural rocky planet with a thousand kilometer diameter combined with custom landing location. I think the custom landing location is basically the rocky area around what you can tell is a hangar that they've already pre you know pre-set up. But then the rest of the planet, and they've stated before, is gonna have to be procedurally generated if they're gonna make full planets, especially to the s how many they want to make. Now, we haven't heard about procedural generation in Star Citizen in some time. I mean, it was originally announced when they hit uh, 41 million uh, dollars in funding way back when, uh, wait a minute, I think I wrote that down, was it March? March 31st of 2014, the post went out. Uh, and they said that uh, once they hit this stretch goal, they will allocate funding for some of the Cloud Imperial money to go to a little, like, strike team of developers to mess around with procedural generation technology. I, I, got, I got the actual quote here. This stretch goal will allocate funding for Cloud Imperium to develop procedural generation technology for future iterations of Star Citizen. This is after the initial release. Advanced procedural generation will be necessary for creating entire planets worth of exploration and development content. A special strike team, it actually says it, a procedural generation oriented developers will be assembled to make this technology a reality. Well, that was way back in 2014, like early on 2014. So it's nice to see that there has been, well, some actual movement in procedural generation for Star Citizen, and that video shows it. Now, I'm gonna run it back real quick. Uh, one thing I am a little disappointed on, I'll go back to about one minute, 50 seconds in, here we go. Um, they they pan back, right? And it looks really cool. You know, very uh, space engineers ask, you know, the procedural generation of a planet, you kind of get the, the rolling hills and whatnot, but as they pan back farther and farther, uh, they start going uh, darker, they're getting on the dark side of the planet, and you don't get to see what the actual planet looks like um, from orbit, and that, that makes me sad. But it's cool how they're doing it. There's no way a planet could fit in your memory, so just like in, say, Space Engineers, I won't say just like, but like in Space Engineers, uh, as you fall back from the planet, they start loading in different um, LODs, right? So you'll get different levels of, uh, well, how the planet looks and how much the memory actually has to hold. Because you don't need to see every speck of detail on the planet's surface when you're in orbit. All you need to see really is that's a continent and there's cloud cover and maybe there's some water. But anyways, that's it guys. Star Citizen, our first look at procedural generation and what will be the future of Star Citizen after we get the two initial releases. That being... Um, I, I believe after the releases, there's been no information on this yet, but uh, the initial release is going to be the single player, uh, Squadron 42, and then we're going to get the actual PU, the Persistent Universe, and then hopefully after that, I'm guessing, is when we may see this technology actually implemented into the, the, the game. I don't know, it'd be really cool if they could wrap it in early. But uh, there's there's no indication that that's going to be a thing. This is kind of like, hey, this team has been working hard for a year to figure out how to do procedural generation in the Cry Engine, and they've made some significant progress, and it looks really neat. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you guys think about the Star Citizen development. I know that a lot of people are talking about how it's taking too long, it's never going to come out, and a lot of people are trying to inform them that, hey, game development takes a long time. Keep in mind that 41 million stretch goal that they made way back when, well, that was, what, a year ago? Maybe just under two, and they didn't even have their full teams in place. When we're talking about development and games, I could do a whole video on this topic. But anyways, I'm curious what you guys think about the procedural generation aspect of the development of Star Citizen. Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Later.